Hi, Chris with RC Worst here. Today, we're gonna take a look at this. This is the Myers MSP40 Sump Effluent and Sewage Pump. It's been designed for residential to light commercial applications, and it's able to handle solids up to one and one quarter inch spherical. This pump comes standard with a two inch NPT discharge. The impeller is a non-clog, two vein recessed thermoplastic impeller. The thermoplastic holds up very well to the caustic nature of sewage and requires less energy to rotate because of its light weight. The pump has class 30 cast iron construction. Because of the relatively high silicon content of cast iron, it has an inherent ability to resist subscale and oxidation, such as rust and corrosion. In addition to this, a water-reducible alkaline enamel paint is applied to these pumps, which is a robust paint that holds up to the harshest of environments. The coat of paint on this pump is between 3 to 4 mils thick, which is roughly 75 to 100 microns. This pump comes standard with stainless steel hardware, a carbon ceramic mechanical seal, and single row ball bearing construction. The cast iron body and oil filled motor dissipates the heat generated inside the motor and helps prolong the life of the motor. This pump can operate in liquids up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and if the pump were to overheat, the automatic thermal overload will bring the pump offline until the motor cools. The minimum diameter recommended for this pump in a simplex configuration is 18 inches and 30 inches for a duplex configuration. By maintaining this minimal diameter, we are ensuring that the equipment has enough room for proper operation and helps eliminate cord entanglement. The Myers MSP40 boasts a 4 tenths horsepower motor that comes in 115 or 230 volt single phase and is rated for 7.5 or 3.8 full load amps respectively. The motor on this pump is a standard 1650 RPM and at which can produce 25 foot of head and a maximum flow rate of roughly 140 gallons per minute. This pump comes standard with a 10 or 20 foot UL listed SJTW type cord. The SJTW means this pump is rated for service in hard conditions such as outdoors. The tough thermoplastic coating on the cord is weather resistant. This cord should hold up to the conditions for years to come. This pump comes in a manual version or automatic. The manual version shown here is signified with a M at the end of the part number. An, an M in the MSP40M1 would be a proper example of the 120 volt no switch configuration and MSP40M2 would be a the 230 volt configuration. The automatic versions use a similar naming system where an A would come in place of the M and signify a piggyback diaphragm type switch. These hardworking pumps will last for many years if sized correctly. If you need help in sizing a pump, please give us a call or check out our other videos. To learn more about this pump or to review the specifications or installation guide, be sure to check out our website, rcworst.com. Thanks for joining me today, and if you have any questions on what we covered, leave those in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.